Hey everybody, welcome back. Sim Casino. Hope you're having a great day. We've got some extra stuff to do today. Uh, in addition to what I wanted to do already, uh, I got a couple of extra things to do. So let's head up to the second floor. And I've moved my box offices. I've got two box offices here. And I've moved them to kind of be... I'm going to actually move it a little bit further. They're going to kind of be right here and they can go get tickets to each show, right? And there's not going to be... A, there's not a whole lot of seats, right? So it's not like there's you know, going to be a whole lot of capacity here. So I think two is going to be enough, one for each show. But I forgot something. We need dressing rooms for the performers, you guys. We don't have that. The other thing I kind of forgot is that this is going to be hotel. There's going to be people, you know, staying in here. And if there's going to be people staying here, well, like, I don't really want a whole lot of people trying to get you know, up the, the the elevators, for example, and then having to walk over here from the elevators. It adds elevator traffic. I'd rather not do that. So instead, I'm going to have a dedicated stairway. If they want to go to the balcony, they go up the stairs. And this also gives us a nice way to sort of see, you know, who's buying tickets and they can just go right there, right? So let's, let's decorate this a little bit more uh, to where it could be. I've also laid out some carpet patterns and stuff for some of the things that I'd like. So it looks like our people are coming over here, trusted staff going to the box office already. I'm gonna go for this for, for, for a second here. Uh, we're gonna take a stanchion and bring it all the way over here. So that way, and again, I don't like how it does that, uh, but that's the only way to block it off. So we're gonna do that. And uh, they'll everyone will buy a ticket and then they go through the center to get to the door. That's how it's gonna work. So that means we need stanchions out this way too, but I also want dressing rooms. So what we're going to need is at least a three by three area. And I'm going to go here. I missed it. It's way over here in that little spot where my microphone can't see it. Um, single dressing room requires fully enclosed space with a door, needs a makeup booth and a wardrobe has to be at least three by three. So I'm going to say three by three there. And we're also going to go, I think on this side, three by three here. Okay, so two single dressing rooms for the performers. Okay, so let's get those. Uh, let's get those knocked out. We'll go like this and like this and like this and like this and like this. Like so. Uh, then we need a locked bedroom or a dressing room key. Probably one of these dressing room doors. Before I figure out where the doors go, though, I think I need to figure out what goes inside these things. We can also do the box office window like this too. Um, so I may change this, but I kind of like these little booths and how they look real classic like. So the dressing room stuff, where is that? Polymetric box, gym sign. We're not going to do that yet. I need to find the stuff for the theater, the dressing room right here. Makeup booth uh, where, perform where theater performers can prepare before a show. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Uh, yeah, I think like this. Place that there. Uh, and then the only other thing that's needed for this requires its own wardrobe, okay? Well, the thing is, this is gonna have to be bigger. I don't think I can fit this in, it's way too crowded. So let's make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna go out about, I think we go out about this far. So two more wall segments and then over. All right, move this like this. I've given this a small amount of thought. <laughs> you know, not, not a ton of thought, but, you know, there's a little bit of thought that's been applied to this so far. And, uh, like this. Okay. Now, I want the door to this dressing room. It's this here. This locked bedroom dressing room key door. Uh, okay, so we're going to have this be... I want the door to open the other direction. Or do I... Eh, maybe I don't. Actually, let's move this over. Now that I have more room, we're going to move this over. One, like this. This door is going to go like that. And this door is going to go with the handle like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, where's my makeup booth? Right like this. Now, since it needs its own wardrobe, I guess we'll just use this on that side and on this side. Okay. Is that everything, I wonder? Yes, this one's good, and this one's good. Awesome. So they can get into here, do their thing, and then they go, you know, that's, that's that. So they're going to walk through here and do that. So for that, 
We're going to get the stanchions back out. Uh, I can't do the eyedropper, can I, for this, for the stanchions? Ooh, I can. Nice. And we're going to bring it all the way over and hook it up like that. So this is like a closed off area, right? Looks pretty good, right? I think it looks kind of kick ass. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, if you're waiting for the show, if you already got in, but you're waiting for the show or, you know, something's happened like that, well, we could have some sorts of seating or whatever that they can wait in. Just got to find out where the heck it is. I never remember where these things are anymore. Um, let's go ahead and give them, I think, some of these soft benches. Uh, I kind of wanted two of them, but I expanded it out too much now. We'll move you over to here. So just a little bench to, see that, to sit at as well. Um, we're going to have uh, garbage cans, I think, too. One near each door? No. I think we can get away with just having a couple maybe over on this side. One over there and then one over here. Just so like, they have them. Um, for decorations and, you know, we need plants and stuff too for this. I'm going to pop one here and here. That looks pretty nice, huh? I think it does. I think it looks nice. Okay, so we've got that room. All that's left for me on this wall anyway is just to exterior wall that. And uh, we could also just do the exterior wall here too, I suppose. I don't think this needs to change. Although, you know, like, it kind of kind of looks a little... Nah, I don't really like it. Let's theme it out. Hmm? What do you think? We go, uh, this? Yeah, maybe. Except it's very theatrical, right? But maybe we do it with, like, a little bit of a... I was hoping it'd be a little brighter. I guess I can't have it any brighter than that. Hmm. If I can't have it brighter than that, I don't want that one. Uh, maybe not the theme walls, then. Panels? Is there anything that's... Well, yeah... This is, I mean, this is what we have already over here. We just have a dark, a dark version of that already over here. So, okay. The dressing rooms can be like this then. No problem. Cool. And for the floors, we can maybe use carpet for the floors in here. Oh, that's a really wild carpet, isn't it? Holy crap. Where did that come from? Oh, I want it. Never mind. This is going to be loud and proud. <laughs> right here. Mm hmm. Okay, good. We're going to do those. That's really ridiculous. <laughs> I like it. Uh, not green. Man, you know, I just can't be happy with any carpets. No, I don't want purple right now, anyway. I just can't be happy with any of the carpet patterns we have because it won't let me adjust their colors. Let's go like this. This looks like it matches. All right. So there we go. All set with that. And we can tweak this too. We'll make this look a little different as we go too. But the last thing I need is a way for them to get to the balcony. Well, it's right here. And the thing is, right now, anyone in the hotel can just walk up here whenever they want to, right? So two things we want. I want a dedicated staircase for this balcony. And we're going to put this dedicated staircase uh, right here I think right yeah right here is that the best place well I mean yeah if I put it right there though then I fear that it's too close to the wall on that side yeah like they have to go right slam it into the wall and then around and I don't, I don't like that either and I don't like it how about we turn it around and go like this? That works. And they can walk around the stanchions. I might need to move these out a little bit to give more walking room here. But it's, it should be not, I don't want to say one single file or anything, but it should be pretty close to that. They go up here, and then they're in this area, and then they go here. So then we're going to take the fences. I guess we could just... We could stanchion it, right? It's a stanchion thing, and then they can't go, but like, I think realistically you would want something that's not stanchions for this. But we'll, we'll have this, we'll have this be like this. So basically it's a secluded area where they can only get in here after they've passed the box office. That's the idea anyway. Um, 
We'll see how that goes. I wasn't intending to have the dressing room right here initially, but um, I was actually thinking I could do it off the side and make this stick out. But then I thought, you know, like this is a nice flat edge. Do I really want this to go bop bop? Nah, not really. You know, I kind of changed my mind right before I hit play on the, before I hit record. So it's okay. We'll see how this goes. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But there you go. We have uh, we have the dressing rooms for the performers and uh, they got their own wardrobes, stage. Everything is set. We're ready to go, right? And now we just need to see who's interested in seeing a show. But first thing I want to do now is I want to copy these slot machines. I'm going to have to redo the carpet upstairs because when I clone this, it's going to gonna do its thing with the floor as well but that's okay clone this bring it up and I'm gonna do right about like this from right here all the way against the wall yeah all the way against the wall we'll go like that BAM that's a lot of money huh it's a lot uh, we're gonna go eyedropper and then make sure that this floor is all the same all right real wild floor here Wow you know? And then uh, I want to do a, another clone. And we'll put this... Ooh, I was going to do that, but now I'm thinking I might need to scoot this back a little bit. I will. I will need to scoot this back a little bit. Because I want this to be lined up. Alright. So we'll scoot that back. We'll say this carpet goes like this. And then we'll just have this scoot back one row like so okay good and then we'll keep going with slot machines all along here too um, I'm actually thinking in fact I I'm gonna do it I'm gonna have this one and this one well I was hoping to do multi select that's why I, yeah uh, I'm gonna have you move slightly over one and then uh, we'll go ahead and clone these machines as well so we'll take and use the clone area. Let's pick some random machines. How about these two? And we'll just kind of do one of these numbers. There we go. I like it. Now these are all the same, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to select. Yeah, let's select all of these, and we'll just say randomize games. But they should all have the same terms. Ten dollar cost, four thousand jackpot and a 9% house advantage. I'm all right with the 9% house advantage. We're, we're making enough money to where that's not a big deal. But now I'm spending a ton. So I might need to let this play on. But you can see what I'm doing, right? We, we you, you bring people through the front door. They have to go all the way through the casino to get up to the escalators where they can then go to the show. Now, what if they're disabled? Right? Accessibility is important too, right? Well, we're gonna expand this a little bit too anyway. So I know I'm spending money again, but we're gonna do it. So we're gonna take this out to about, let's say here at least. At some point I was gonna expand this way a little bit more anyway, but um, I'm gonna do it now so that I can get the, the elevator in. So what I'd like to do, and actually before I do this, I kind of wanna know where these slot machines are gonna be. My, my intention is to have the elevator right here. And so I think that's, still gonna work it's a little overlappy here though we can do it about like this yeah does that work I think it does if I build another floor above I won't, I won't be able to until I extend this wall well maybe maybe I can I'm gonna extend the wall anyway so let's just do it I know you're spending money again I know Da -da 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 -da. all the way out there we go and then let's take away this wall right here all right well do I want to take the wall away or do we just allow the elevator to do the floor I think we have to do that first right a floor above there we go and then that's all locked in and then we have the wall which takes it away from the other side or maybe we just I can actually do like some sort of like a security room kind of thing here. Possibly. We'll, we'll play that out. We'll just let that be a thing like right there. All right, good. 
people are playing the slots up here now i've got a lot of workers with an awful lot of tasks because i'm i'm changing things out i'm, I'm adding a lot of machines so let me just change the number of workmen here to six and then maybe we'll do two on this off ship here okay good because we're adding a lot of stuff but we're going to have uh, another set of slot machines here. And then I want some table games. And that's what this area here is for. But I'm also going to do some bingo. Yeah, I'm not as excited about bingo. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to put some bingo right here. And let's also eyedropper here. Like that. There we go. Looking good. Wait, did I not expand? Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well... Um, hmm, that happened. Change of plans. Can I move you? Just move you back one? Does that work? It does not, but maybe it will if I move this back equally. Let's, let's see. If I put you like this, all the way over, there you go. And then I remove this wall. I missed one. If I move you directly back, will you be connected? It looks like you are. Good. I want this wall tool to be right there. And this one to be right all along this side to here. Okay. All right. Now, the trick here. Hmm. Actually, there is no trick here. Well... I mean, there's kind of a trick here. <laughs> the wall, I, I like where this is. I don't want to move this. But if I do move this one back, I could have two rows. Tempting. I could even do like a back-to-back -back system right here if I did that. Look at these guys moving. Yep, keep it moving, folks. There you go. See, they move where I want them to move. And where I want them to move is around all of this stuff, yeah? Uh, let's get this taken out. Get this taken out all the way to at least here. All right. And then what we'll do is we can get rid of this wall, I guess. And we'll just connect this up right here. For now, I think I like this better. I'm going to expand further back this way anyway. So this isn't going to be just a narrow passage. But it's just the way it is for now. All right. Eyedropper the marble floor to here. And I guess we maybe just have it be marble through here for now. Yeah, eyedropper that. I guess I painted the back wall too. Fine. Ooh, they're already using the elevator. There you go. Yeah. Now, of course, it was supposed to be for the disabled, but I have a feeling most people will want to just use it anyway. So, whatever fine it's a handicap accessible thing right you gotta you gotta pay attention to that kind of stuff you gotta do that kind of stuff and i kind of wish the game would implement that that'd be a cool thing for a feature edition you know like you have to cater to people in wheelchairs too right i mean you, you should have to so I, I think that's a good a feature request i guess be considerations for disabled And uh, cause that's a, that could be a good chunk of business, you know? Not even for a moral reason or anything, just like a good, a good chunk of business, okay? Uh, how about we make this like a little waiting area? This, I don't need this. We could do something like, actually just think the, the wall itself could just be right up against it, yeah. And we just have that curve. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, is that? It looks better if it comes out a little bit, doesn't it? I think it does. You get that the wall on both sides. I'm going to do that instead. Yeah. I know it doesn't have a use, but it's, it's better. I just like the way it looks better to have the wall actually on both sides. And then we'll eyedropper this. We go uh hey hello whoa that's not what i want to do you right here all the way there and all the way around there we go and then the top floor did that already yeah um i'm i'm debating on whether i want to actually build here or not this was intentional and um because i might put you know if we need more ventilation for example i might put that along here 
because I think that can fit. Um, but also, like, I'm going to expand more here anyway, so uh, there's a chance I'll need, like, taller ceilings or whatever, um, so I'm not sure. Same thing with this area. I'm still not entirely sure, though I'm, I'm leaving it open as an option for now uh, along the backside. Okay, uh, so this is my hotel. We're going to focus on that next time, I think, but for this time, I want to get business services and stuff running too, right? Um, we've got a little bit of gambling that can happen. We got this theater. None of this stuff is going to make us hardly any cash, but it's it's the stuff, the extra stuff, right? Um, and I want to do the extra stuff just to do it because uh, I haven't done it before. So business services, let's turn on zoning. So we have a computer room, which is actually going to be here, but I've left it like this so I can really see the defining line because these are two the same color. So I'm going to take the wall and you're just going to go like that. And that tells me where that is. So computer room can now go ahead and do that. And this will be a wall there. So this is going to be a conference room, computer room, which is probably way too big for a computer room. But I want to see like what the demand is. I don't know what the demand is. So if they're not going to use it, then they don't use it. If they do, then awesome. We're going to have another conference room over here. All right, and we'll get those sorted out. And then the gym, people to work out in and stuff, this is gonna be this big area, okay? So we've got three other facilities, and then this area also, we want windows on this. And I think for the gym, everybody working out and everything, all of a sudden, yeah, whatever, uh, I'm gonna have the back side of this gym just be all glass. So I think that would look really cool. Yep, and then I'm thinking also for the conference rooms as well. So we, we could just have, com I mean, I don't know if you want like privacy for your conference rooms. Um, we could say that there's like curtains or whatever they can close, but I kind of like the front side of this just being nothing but glass, right? Just on the front. I think it looks nice. <laughs> we'll see how everyone else thinks about it uh, as they use it. So for the conference, for the computer rooms, let's, let's focus on the computer rooms for a second. So what does a computer room need? Well, it needs a printing station and computer desks. Okay, that's it. So, uh, what we want to do first is get the printing station. They're probably not going to use this very much. But we'll have, let's say, two printing stations, and then we're going to load this up with computers. So, we'll say that we have a computer desk. Um, I think we can do it like this. Yeah. And then a little space. And then, again, I have no idea what the demand is for this. So it's there's a chance that this just flat out falls on its face. But I'm going to rock with this as my, my configuration for now. Okay. Uh, and then we want a door. This is an interior door, but I don't think we need the interior door. I don't like the way it looks. I'd like to instead put in this commercial double door instead. And we can put this right here so they can get into this. And uh, they can do the computer thing they want. They can print. Maybe one more printer. Again, it's probably a waste, but whatever. And then uh, over here in a conference room, I might do a little bit of cookie, cookie cutter here. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but we need conference tables. Large conference table. We can do that uh, in this conference room right here. Conference rooms, they tend to be pretty large, right? Like, they tend to have like a lot of excess space, right? So I feel like I don't need it to be up against the wall too. It's interesting how they use it too. They don't eat, they don't actually use that that top side there. So what if I was to go something like this and then also we flip it around and there's another one on this side. Like that. And then this one is going to be just the big room. You can reserve the big room if you want. Right? I don't know. We'll see. It's a giant ass conference. It's way too big. Way bigger than it needs to be. But, you know, that's part of its charm. <laughs> uh, okay. And then we're going to put the commercial door, the commercial double door there. And we'll put another one lined up with this one here. Okay. So we have business services. People, business customers can come here and reserve our rooms. Uh, I don't know if they really need to reserve a computer room. Uh, again, I want to see if they'll multiple business people will come in and use all these computers at the same time. We'll see. But that's what I'm going for there. 
So, okay. Let's line this up. Make these walls all look good, too. All right. Excellent. Uh, the next thing, uh, maybe the interiors for the conference rooms. I might change them, so... If I'm going to rearrange all these rooms to, to be different, then I don't kind of don't want to spend time on, on that. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh-oh. People are stuck. Uh, she's completely stuck. Teleport her to pickups. Totally stuck. That's starting to happen. I hope that's not uh, an indication of what's to come. <laughs> hope not. All right. Jim. Let's get the gym. And again, I wait to put the I bit, wait to put the uh, the door in until I know where everything else in the room is going to be. So for the gym, we probably want there to be a sign somewhere. But looks like we have a, a plyometric box, a fancy box for jumping in, and a yoga mat. Okay, we got elliptical machines. Obviously, want to put those facing outwards. I say obviously, like everybody knows this, but maybe it's, maybe it's not known. We put the elliptical machines facing outwards like that. Uh, the exercise bikes, we can do the same thing. We can put that on the other side, though. Bunch of elliptical machines and exercise bikes, right? There we go. I'll do four of each for now. That's five. That's how that works. That's math. <laughs> we'll do five of each for now. I have no idea what the demand is, so. Um, then we'll get some yoga mats. And uh, we'll say that they can find their serenity and peace with yoga over here on this side, I guess. And then the plyometric boxes, whatever the heck these are. I don't know what these are. I don't know what you do with these. So I'm going to... Oh, wait. You know what we should do? Instead of facing outwards... Hmm... New idea. Maybe instead of facing outwards, we put them facing like this. Now, hear me out. <laughs> I do like the idea of them facing outwards, though. But if I was to instead do them about like this, put this on this side. Yep, like that. And then we shift this around. Let's copy, select all of these and move them over. This is here temporarily, so they're out of the way. If I move all of you, not the window, uh, multi-select here. Yep. If I move all of you like this instead, okay, then we could, you know, give you guys a big TV to watch. I'd rather have smaller televisions, but this seems to be like the only size television that this game offers aside from the room TV, and that's not what I want. So we're going to go with a big television there and a big one there. And man, do I wish we could watch something different on that television because this is not what I'm looking for. There's got to be a smaller TV, right? It's so big. <laughs> it's just too big. Uh, we could play some hand sanitizer, of course. We're probably going to want to put that near wherever the door ends up being. So we'll put that in there. Um, it looks like hand sanitizer is actually a requirement for it, too. The yoga can go up against the windows, which seems... I think that seems fine. Yeah. And they would face the window. So, you know, we don't want... You know, downward facing dog kind of awkwardness from the street, right? I think we're actually going to get rid of this yoga mat. I'm going to get rid of this one. So they do yoga facing that way, right? Okay, good. So now we'll take our door and I'll just place this in the middle here. Place a hand sanitizer next to the door. Right? And we're going to do some decoration stuff, too, I think. That's probably going to happen. But this is a big gym. It's a bit more than we need. But, you know, like this is, this is how I play games. I do the things that I want to do, even if it's not ideal or optimal or whatever. Um, we probably also, honestly, want some chairs in here. I mean, there's, there's opportunities. 
people are going to get tired. They're going to want to sit. We could put a couple of chairs in here just to do it. Right? And uh, I think some, obviously we need like decoration stuff too. Um, thinking we do the lights. Different lights though. Um, probably just ceiling lights for this room. Yeah. Uh, we could put one, I think, right above these guys here. Uh, here and uh, here. Nice and nice and bright. Same thing in this room here. I think we can put. Um, mm, these guys actually might benefit from a wall lamp kind of thing. Nah, these are this is business stuff. We're just gonna put this in here. One there and one here. Yep. And then the computer room will kind of be the same thing. It'll go in the middle of the room, so about here and uh, here and here. Slide this over. Uh, about like that. All right, no big deal. Uh, for the walls, themed walls, no. Um, just paneling. Paneling is fine. And I don't think wood is a good color panel for the for these. It won't look good from the street either. We want something that looks good from the street. Um, the gym. Uh, ooh, this is nice for the conference rooms. I'm all right with that. You can have conference rooms look like that for now. And for the gym, I want something fun, right? That's kind of fun. We want, we want fun rooms, right? I mean, oh, uh, that's interesting. Oh, cool. I just accidentally discovered that. So holding shift does the whole room. Holding control does just one wall. So you could have like accent walls and stuff, which I have totally not even thought about until just now. And now I think I want accent walls. Good God, what's happening to me? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's pretty wild. Can we do, like, I want something that's, I don't know, painting themed walls. It's just no, nothing, nothing makes me happy with these, you know, with these wall things, these panels. You know, I guess I can try to do, maybe we'll do, I like the blue color actually. Can we do blue? Not this color blue. Eh. Eh. I can't have what I want. Oh well. Oh well. I don't know. Maybe green. Green for the for the gym. What's a good color for a gym? Yellow. I mean, we want them to go, go, go. So that's why I was thinking green. Lime green. Oh god. All right, lime green. That's gonna be what it is. And then let's get rid of the toggle for the zone. And then we want to change the color of the floor too. I guess we could use ceramic for the for the gym. I don't really like that. That's okay. Not carpets. Maybe this can be the purple. Maybe the maybe the purple marble goes in the gym. I don't like marble is really cold though. Right? Like you're if you're going to lay down on it like yoga and stuff, it's really cold. I'm th I'm trying to think of like if there's a material that's warmer and carpet's all I got, you wouldn't want that for yoga either. Maybe we just do like a wood paneling thing. I mean, that doesn't look half bad. Oh, you know what? Why don't we just do a wood paneling for this? Yeah, that's good. I like it. I don't know about that for business, though. I think business can stay business. With, with uh, yeah, but the, the gym's got to be wood. All right, that's what we're going to do. So then going along that note, maybe we have a different uh, wood. We have a different style for the gym entirely. Like a brighter wood. Oh, hey. It's very zen. All right, that's our gym now. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, that's our gym now. And then uh, we're gonna take the sign for gym. Make sure everybody knows it's a gym. Can we go above the door? Doesn't match up. Doesn't line up. Side the door it is. Okay, gym. All right, and then this is gonna be business stuff. So I assume there's a business sign. Business. 
This is our business section. You're welcome. There we go. You know you're in the business section when you come out of the elevator and it says business right away, you know? That's where you want to be, right in the business area. Mm -hmm. Now, what about like theater stuff? Yeah, we have a theater area. I could put that right above this. I like it. It's, I don't, okay, let me rephrase that. I don't like it that it's overlapping the door, but it, it fits at least. Although maybe we want the, oh man. Oddly enough, this one doesn't center. This one is slightly bigger. Okay, well, that's the way it is. All right, good. Oh, there's a theater sign here, custom text. Oh, yes. Oh, it doesn't line up though. Why? Why? Why me? <laughs> oh, maybe we put it over here. We could we could put it over here. We could say uh, like upper floor like this. Maybe uh, two balcony. Oh, here we go. We could say uh, two balcony. That's that's pretty slick, but it's kind of like hidden. Yeah, maybe you're here and you're like, where do I go? You know, maybe that doesn't work. If I move it over here, does it work? It doesn't keep the text when you move it. Two balcony. And then maybe I go like, ah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll, we'll let that be a thing. Okay. Uh, I feel like there's a missed opportunity in this area. I'll look at it later. Got our elevators. Okay, good. Uh, the paint and the paneling and stuff for business. So I think we can probably just get away with something real, real casual. Like real low key. Actually, I already did that one here, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. I like this. It doesn't have to be very colorful. I mean, look at all the business stuff is all really drab anyway. So whatever. That's cool. Um, is that it then? Am I good on business? I got the floor. It can be the same as every other floor. It doesn't need to be different. The gym is in. We got ridiculous amounts of people outside. 2,300 new visitors today plus. 2,300 plus new visitors today. And despite building all this stuff, I'm still at uh, $200,000 in the bank. Pretty nice. And that's with a hundred grand in my vault. All right, I got a hundred grand limit for my vault now. Pretty wild. Real cool. All right, next thing we're gonna we're gonna be doing hotel accommodations and stuff. I think next video as we move up. But I'm still expanding this casino area and spending lots of money doing so. So just simple things like you know copying this and moving it over here and having even more, you know, having even more slot machines, that kind of thing, right? And probably want to do one more. I can I can get away with one more. Yeah. One more row, right? There we go. And then I can do a couple more of these. Just pick any random ones. How about here? And we'll pop those right there, right? That works. It doesn't line up exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna line it up. Yeah, I'm gonna line it up. Let's, let's copy this, put it here. There we go. And then just eyedropper the floor to here. Cool. Now workers have to load these machines. That's what that task is. So we're just waiting for the workers, but that worked out well. Uh, we could do table games all through here. And I think uh, I'll probably expand this and have table games go at least to here, at least to there. Uh, conference room. I may need to expand this for other types of rooms. Are there any other types of rooms I haven't built yet? For anything other than gambling, which I have actually very close, I should think. The craps table? 11 hours remaining until we can do craps. Okay. I think high limit gambling zone here for like cards. I was trying not to crowd this because this is a box office. But I'm thinking about like how many people are actually gonna use this, like the theater. I don't even see any shows happening yet. So like, do I have to schedule them or what? Oh, wait, was this? Oh, it was just glowing. I thought maybe it turned on, like there was a show. Do I have to schedule the shows? Cause I don't see any utility for that. Maybe it's in 
here. Attractions hub, manage entertainment. There it is. Oh, there's a sh there. There's how you do it. Okay. So, yeah, we have two theater halls. One has a seating capacity of 50, the other 49. What? These should be identical. Oh, what's this? Oh. What's this? What's this? What's this? Anybody else think about that? Just me? Better not be. Balcony zone. Uh, yep, there we go. Should have 50 capacity for every single one of these theaters. And that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to bring them in. Manage entertainment. Do I just click create show on all of these? I got to believe this is going to change, right? The 50? Got to believe it will. Show me the zones. Uh, okay, so you're... I want you to be theater balcony. That's what I messed up on. Let me go theater balcony zone. Yeah? Good? Good. All right. So I just go bing, 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 bing. All right? Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, you can go really in depth on this. All right, so for nine o'clock, schedule shows here. Each performance acts can do one show per day and will start the first show the next day after being assigned. All right, stop then because it's 11 37 p.m. So we can have them today uh, or we'll have them now on Tuesday. Uh, so if I want to do Monday through Friday, let's say there's a show at noon, The Black Widow. Oh my god, thousand dollars per show? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's expensive as fuck. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Forgotten Dreams. Oh my god, ninety-three percent popularity though. Let's schedule it. Seven performers. Seven performers. Okay. Forgotten Dreams is here. Twelve o'clock show for the other one. Uh, how long are these shows? It would be cool if I could stagger them, right? Like, like right here it says 12 and 3 and 8, right? It would be nicer, since they're three-hour shows, if I could do 9 o'clock here and then have 10 o'clock start times here. That way I could stagger the crowd coming in for them. Because I have two two theater halls. But uh, this 12 o'clock show will do in the other theater after dark, which is not a good thing to do at 12 o'clock. So let's not. Um, these are really cheaper ones, too. We have one theater that does cheaper shows, maybe? I don't know. These are, like, that's expensive. <sighs> yeah, we, we probably should mix it up. Tiptoe Daybreak. 40% popularity. Two performers. I like it. Let's do this one for 12 o'clock. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna schedule all these off, off, uh, off the air. Or off camera. But, uh, that's really great. Uh, so I clicked the slot market tab. Have I shown you guys this yet? I don't remember if I showed you guys this yet. Uh, the sl slots have a various different popularity and stuff, so sometimes they go up and down. I kind of wish there was a way to automate it. I, I get that that would kind of take a little bit of the game out, but I'm not doing it anyway. So it's an activity that I could have done, and, like direct my staff to do, is to automate it to where if any slot machine falls under a certain level of popularity, uh, randomly switch it to a different one. That could be cool, you know? or you switch it to the one that's most popular. Uh, and, but I would think that's probably not the best way to do it just cause like eventually all your stuff gets to be the same thing. So uh, maybe like, you know, randomly select a new one if one falls below a certain level of popularity. I don't know. Uh, hotel accommodation stuff we'll take care of later. And uh, I think free buffet access. If they lose more than $100 in my casino, I wanna offer you Complimentary buffet. <laughs> uh huh. Offer gift vouchers worth twenty dollars if lost. Wait, gift vouchers? Do I not have a gift shop? I actually didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I know that I don't have one because I didn't make one, but I wasn't aware that I could make one. Is it uh, other big TV? No. Should we do an ATM machine up here? I think so. Like, what if they get all the way up here and they don't have money? They're gonna need an ATM. 
I think we should have at least a couple up here. Plus, there's gambling up here, right? Yeah, there's gambling up here, so there should be an ATM up here. So let's let's maybe put that. We'll put a couple of ATM machines over here, just so they have them available to them on this floor too. But they can also go over here and get money for the show. All right, good. So I'm gonna configure that. And we've got slot machines in this area, so they still have to walk through the slots to get where they want to go. Although I am giving them clearly defined walking lines, which is against the uh, the uh, the design concept, but it's fine. And look at they're all gonna go over to the slot machine and then come back downstairs. Yeah. All right, and look at this. I spent so much cash that I'm actually in the hole temporarily, very temporarily. But yeah, I'm in the hole. I'm gonna go bankrupt. Oh no. Nah, it's, I'm going to make a lot of money. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I think we got a good amount done. We did a, quite a few rooms here. Um, we may actually not do the hotel next time. It may actually be, you know, more card games, bingo hall, that kind of stuff. I, I don't want to... The card games, I think I can set up offline because I've already shown you guys that stuff. Same thing with the slots. But um, anything that's new, like setting up bingo, whatever, it's really easy. Um, anything that's new that I haven't done yet... I'll take care of that in the video, but for this part, like just setting up the, the base, like more casino area and stuff, I'm going to take care of that off, uh, off the air because you guys don't need to see that expansion stuff. So, all right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.